Hello, in this video we are going to go over the functions in Python that are useful if we want to implement priority queues. The first thing that we are going to do is to import heap queue. So we say import heap queue. Then we need a list to save the nodes of the queue. So we say h equals an empty list. So this is gonna save the nodes for us. For example, our nodes could be scalars like this one or we can have tuples something like this one so for example i have s1 s2 and s3 as three scalars and that shapes a tuple and i can have uh, a tuple as a node of the queue also we could have a list as a node like this so for example i can have s1 s2 and s3 are the elements of this list and this list itself is a node of our queue in the first case when our nodes are only scalars, if I want to access to the top node, the root of the tree, or by default the minimum value from the min heap, we just need to read the h0. For the second case, we just read the first element. Heap is going to sort based on this value, s1. And it's similar for the case that we have a list as a node, like this one. Okay, now let's look at the function to add a value to our heap. So we can use the function heap push. We say heap q dot heap push. Then we put the name of our list and then the node we want to add. For example, node here is just a list with three elements. The time complexity of insertion is between one to log n. And as we are going to consider the worst case scenario, we say time complexity of that is log of n and n is the size of our heap now let's see how can we read the top element from our heap so we can use the function heap pop so it's going to give me s1 s2 and s3 in case that i have for example a tuple or a list and i just use the heap q dot heap pop and the time complexity of this function is also log of n we can also do the insertion and removal of the root at the same time by the function heap replace. So if I do this, I'm removing the top and then I'm inserting this to my heap. Heap replace has both heap insertion and heap removal. So it's a two log of n or log of n. Also, you might have created edge by putting together some elements, but now you want to turn edge to a heap. So for doing that, we are going to use the function heapify. The time complexity of that is order of n. The last point is this. By default, Python function is designed for min heap. And if you want to use a max heap, you can just use a simple trick. And whenever you want to insert an element to your heap, you just put the negative value. For example, here I want to put this tuple and I know only the first element matters. So I'm gonna multiply that with minus one. And whenever you are going to pop something, you do the same thing. You pop this value, you multiply that to minus one. So it's gonna give you the correct value. Also, if you need, for example, top elements, like here that you are going to see the root and you want to use that, you just need to multiply that to minus one. In summary, whenever you put something inside your heap, just multiply that by minus one. And whenever you want to use it, just multiply that by minus one. And with this simple trick, you are turning a min heap to a max heap. Okay, this is the summary of priority queue and thank you so much again for watching this video.